Hey friends, um, I'm in the process of <clears throat> getting together a, a mailing for some regular customers of mine, and I'm in the process of cutting a brick. And so I've had a couple people buy bricks from me and say, I don't even know how to use this thing, I don't know how to cut this up, I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> I actually had somebody last year who was using full cubes in each warmer, and I'm like, no! So, this is how I cut a brick. Everybody is different, whatever. This is just a suggestion. I have this little like butter knife spreader thing, okay? I got this from a customer a million and a half years ago. I still use it. I, I use it for food and I also use it for this. This is actually food grade paraffin wax, so I'm not gonna die if any of the wax gets into my mouth, but I do put it into my dishwasher in between each and every use, no matter if it's food or for Sensi or for whatever. No judgments, please. Anyway, this wax is called uh, Berry Fairy Tale. It's fabulous. Anyway, I'm going to be making a sample of this for some customers. So I keep it in the clamshell here. The clamshell itself has the sections in it. It's got 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sorry. 12 cubes. So I'm just keeping it right in there, and I'm just going to go down to the ridge. Lengthwise, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I'm not using like this kind of knife. I don't want to go through the plastic. That's why I'm using this plastic on plastic. It's not going to cut this plastic. Okay. So that's kind of like scored now. And this plastic is a little bit soft, so it's not going to chip out. It's not going to crack out of here. It's still going to be soft and pliable. So I'm going to be able to do that, and it's a clean cut. I brought out my shimmer brick because not only am I going to be giving some people some samples of this, but I also wanted to show you that I cut my bricks in... Um, there's the bottom of my calculator. Ah, you know how the little, the little feet come off of the calculator? <laughs> anyway, I'm being silly. I cut my um, cubes in advance so that if I wanted to warm some shimmer wax or if I wanted to make some, you know, sample bags for a customer or something like that, I could just open it up and grab a couple pieces. So I'm going to be doing the same thing with this. I like to cut the cubes into thirds. And so what I'm going to be doing is giving my customers um, a third of a cube of this and a third of a cube of this. And this is about the amount of a regular cube, normal size cube of Scentsy Wax. The normal 3.2 ounce bar of wax, one of these is about the same size as a third of a cube of this. Okay, so this is just how... I do it so that I do this in advance. I cut them in advance. I haven't cut those yet. Just in case I was going to give somebody a, a full cube. You never know. I might have an extra special customer who orders $200 worth of stuff. It does happen. And if they're local, I don't mail out this size of a sample because, hi, that's going to melt. Um, but, you know, I might be giving out full cubes. Sometimes if I have, you know, team members that are local, I'll give them full cubes of stuff. Sometimes if my mom comes over, I'll give her a full, full cube of stuff. Um... But that's the way I cut my bricks. So hope you um, can take something away from that. Talk to you later. Bye.